Hey everyone, I want to do a quick video about Rhino and why I like using it for designing bike frames um, and also just you know to do some very light 3D design for, for 3D printing for bike related stuff or just for fun. Uh, so, you know, it, it, it's a great 2D design environment, very similar to AutoCAD. It's got a command line prompt and prompt and then also, um, you know, a variety of drafting, um, you know, uh, mouse based, uh, in, in, in interface, I guess, um, for, you know, clicking to draw lines and things like that. So, you know, for, you know, drawing a bike, starting with the front wheel, specify all this stuff with the command line. Um, the command commands are very similar to AutoCAD. So if you know how to use AutoCAD, it, uh, you know, translates pretty quickly. You can learn it really fast. Um, you know, you can also, again, use the non-command line prompts, the, you know, clicking through with your mouse for the various uh, commands uh, as well. So, you know, it's got all the objects, object snaps as well that AutoCAD has that, you know, are essential if you're doing any type of drafting. Um, my only gripe is that you can't type in uh, you know, which auto, which, uh, object snap you, you're looking for. Um, so say if I wanted to, you know, find the midpoint of this line, I actually have to hover over it. I can't just type in mid, um, and then it'll, you know, within AutoCAD, if you typed in mid, it would, uh, filter down to mid and, you know, wouldn't allow you to choose the endpoint. Um, so, you know, one little, I guess, challenge, uh, the cool thing about that though, if you really do want to remove some of those options, you can come down here and you know, it, it won't find the midpoint, for example. Um, you know, if I, if I deselect mid, it's only got the end or, or near or intersection. Um, so you can, you can tailor that a little bit if you get into a tight spot that you're looking for a certain object snap. So again, you know, very similar, you know, almost identical drafting environment, uh, 2D environment as AutoCAD. Uh, dimensioning works very similarly. So, you know, if, if you know how to use AutoCAD, um, or if you're looking to use, you know, a, a new design software, you can learn this uh, Rhino platform pretty quickly. The other thing that's cool about it is it lets you do 3D design. Um, so I'm just going to draw in here just a little um, I don't know, widget, for lack of a better term. And then, you know, so now I have this, this outside line and this, um, you know, inside circle. Uh, Rhino has, you know, different options as far as viewpoints go. Um, this perspective option is nice for doing anything 3D. So you can extrude these curves. I'm going to extrude this one, say 20 millimeters on both sides, and I'm going to extrude this hole, you know, the circle, which will be a hole, um, you know, 40 millimeters on both sides. One thing that's a little weird is that, you know, in, in Rhino, and we can change this to um, you know, a shaded type of uh, view here. You can see that right now it's just, it's not a solid object, it's just the edges. So in Rhino, you have to cap all, you, all of these wireframes. Uh, before you start adding and subtracting them. It's just like an extra step that's a little different than some other programs. Um, but then you can use the subtraction surfaces. So I'm going to subtract this um, from here to make a hole. There you go. So you have your 3D uh, object there, and now you can take it and 
I can create a mesh. And with this mesh, this is the object that you can export. So we're going to export selected and we can export test mesh as a um, STL. All right. Okay. And then, you know, with, with that STL file, we can take it into a 3D printing uh, slicer um, and, you know, get it so it, it prints. So anyway, you know, I really do like Rhino because it gives you a lot of different options. Uh, like I said, you know, kind of sum it up. Really great 2D environment. Um, you know, essentially as good as AutoCAD. And uh, it also allows you to do some 3D stuff. The really good part about it is it's relatively inexpensive at, uh, I think it's $995 for Rhino 7, uh, the most recent version. This version that you're seeing here is Rhino 6. Um, but it's, you know, a thousand bucks, essentially one time fee, uh, and you'll have it for, you know, as long as your operating system supports, uh, that particular, uh, version, whereas with AutoCAD and AutoCAD Lite, you're paying a subscription fee. Um, I think compared to AutoCAD, um, LT or AutoCAD Lite, uh, Rhino pays for itself in less than, or in a little over two years. Um, and then AutoCAD full, um, you know, which, you know, AutoCAD Lite doesn't allow you to, to do the 3D drawing. Um, AutoCAD Full is, is significantly more expensive. It's, I think it's closer to $3,000 per year. So Rhino is a great option if you're looking for a 3D design um, software that's, you know, a little more robust than uh, a bike-specific software like BikeCAD. Um, you know, it's, it's a really, really great option. So I, I couldn't recommend it enough.